trading account which is normally in SAP you don't use but in general in accounting process we have a trading account then profit and loss account then work balance Okay, in SAP we do not have a concept of trading account. Okay, but in accounting process, yes, we have a trading. In the trading account, we record all transactions related to factory. Okay, what are the transactions you have done in the factory? All those transactions are recorded in your Profit and loss account, we record all transactions related to administration and your incomes and expenses related to admin and sales. So all administration and income and expenses and your sales whenever I'm doing any sales. So all the expenses and the income related to sales. Then in the trading account we prepare your gross profit or gross loss. We get your gross profit or gross loss. In the profit and loss account we will get net profit or net profit. If, if I have a gross profit in trading account, okay, it will it will be debited, it will come on your right hand side of your profit and loss account. If it is a loss, your left hand side of your profit and loss account. If I have a net profit, it will be add to the capital. If I have a net profit, I'll, it will be add to the capital. If it is a loss, it will be deducted from the capital. Yes. Okay. This is a very important concept. Okay. Even in SAP, we have a process where creating a return earnings account we transfer the balance of profit and loss account to your balance sheet the system automatically it will determine if I have a positive value it will add if you have a negative value it will be there. so remember in SAP when you do we only record the business transaction all these your general ledger profit and loss account everything system will update automatically we need to just generate that report so this is I'm explaining in general accounting or we can say olden days when we used to write everything in a book. Okay. When I used to work for Doordarshan, literally we used to have a huge book. Okay. Okay. In the ink pen we used to write. Because the dot pen it will not stay for a longer period. So at that time we do first business. Bookkeeper will be there who record the business transaction. What are the expense income? Then one person will record the general ledger. Then another person will write up your trial balance. Then another person will do the profit and loss account balance sheet. So that we normally that all the transaction is not given to one person because he can manipulate. Mm -hmm. Okay. He can manipulate the transaction. So it used to be written manually. But in SAP, when I'm creating a GL account, okay, at the time we will determine whether it is a profit and loss account or balance sheet. Then we do the business transaction automatically it will update everywhere. So we will not be doing trial balance or anything. We will be just generating the results. But not we are not going to update in a general ledger one by one. We are not going to transfer the balance from your general ledger to file balance or we are not going to transfer the Prof, uh, your net profit or not lost to your balance sheet system will do on the background automatically. Okay. Now coming to your balance sheet, okay, there's a 
Okay, first trading account. Let's look into the trading account. So as I said, all transaction related to your factory. So what are the transaction like this? Okay, like factory electric bill. Okay. Okay. So some examples I'm giving. Okay, for uh, your fuel. Okay, then you are opening stock. Okay, purchase of stock. These are like raw materials. Yes. Okay, so all this comes under your credit. When it comes to the profit and loss account, all expenses related to administration like salary. Okay, your promotion activities, sales promotion activities. All expenses related to sales promotion expenses. Okay, your bank interest, bank interest received, bank interest paid. Everything will be worked. So, in to understand the SAP very well, so it is very important. We need to determine a GL account is a profit and loss account, or it is related to your balance sheet. And if it is related to balance sheet, whether it is your assets or your liabilities, it is very important that we need to determine. At the time of creating a GL account only, we have to specify manually. System does not determine. We have to manually uh, determine whether that particular account is profit and loss account or assets or liability. Okay, always remember any kind of expenses and incomes, it will be profit related to your profit and loss. Balance sheet, it may be an asset. Asset, again, it may be your fixed asset or current asset. Okay, similarly, liabilities can be your fixed liability or current liability. Okay. So, like, let me give some example of fixed asset, current asset and liability. Let's say your machinery is your fixed liability because we use it for longer term. Okay, your equipment is your asset. Your uh, let's say it's, uh, your land, your building. Land. Yes. All are your current asset, cash balance in your bank, your current stock, that is maybe your uh, raw material, that may be your finished goods. Then all your provisions. Provisions in the sense, for example, a expenses is there. Let's say for a salary. You paid two months salary at a time. Okay. okay. So for the next two months, we need not to pay the salary. So that is a kind of asset to me. Okay, so all incomes, okay, all expenses, sorry, all expenses, the future expenses which is already paid, that is also kind of asset to you because in the future you need not to pay. So uh, the future uh, expenses, uh, the salary that I've paid will not come in mm -hmm. the profit and loss account? It will come in the profit and loss account. See, whenever any expenses is in, there is a process, okay? For example, salary account, we have one GL account and another GL account we will be creating, okay? Sorry. Commission received account, okay? One and 
one is zero. Okay. Now, in the case of salary, okay, in the case of commission, okay, in the case of salary, it is my liability. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because I'm liable to pay. Okay. So, if I pay that before only, if I pay before only, then we have to create a provision for salary because I'm making the payment earlier. Okay. So, in the case of income, similarly, for example, for future services, I'm retrieving, taking the money now. Then okay. I'm liable to deliver him that service for which I'm taking the commission. Okay. In that case, that will be like that. Okay. Now, another way is there where I have not paid the salary. Let's say for last two months, I have not paid the salary. Liability. Okay. Then it will be liability. Similarly, for the commission received, okay, I have received the commission for the service which I have provided for last two months. Then it will be your So, you have to determine based upon the so commission received, salary account always will be a PNL. But with respect to this, we will create whenever there is a provision, provision for salary and provision for commission receipt account. So the salary and account this, uh, just went up, Kashi. Oh, yes, yeah, salary account always PNL. Commission account always PNL. Okay, but provision for salary and provision uh, commission receipt uh, will be in the uh, asset and liability. Oh. Yes. Okay. okay. Provision, all provision in general, actually, the, all provisions related to expenses will be your liability because I am liable to pay that expense. All provisions related to income are your asset because I am liable to receive that. So, we have to, but commission, commission received and salary account always will be PNL. Okay. But we have to determine what kind of transaction it is, whether the provision increase, then we need to determine it is. We have a specific topic on this that is your open item management when we will go more detail in SAP. Okay, in SAP while doing, we have to understand because this is related to one of the important topic called open item managed. At the time, will more more detail. Okay. Now the motto is to find out a jail account is asset or liability. Now similarly, your fixed liabilities like capital. Capital is your fixed liability. Many people ask me why. Why capital is considered as a fixed liability? I have invested money to the let's say I have started a company. I have invested the money. So why it is liability? Because it's gone already. As for the, yeah, as for the accounting principle, you and the business are two different entities. When I'm starting a business, okay, putting some investment, that means the business is borrowing money from me. Even though I'm owner of the company, company is considered as a different entity and the person who is investing, who is cutting the money, is considered as a different entity. Okay, so the person who is investing is considered as a lender and the company is considered as a borrower. So, company, whatever the money you invest, initial investment do, the capital always will be a liability side of your company. One is right, I'm getting it all. Yeah. So he will be always be considered as a the investment is always considered as you are. Now, current liabilities are like bank loan, okay, overdrafts, all expenses which are not paid, provisions, all expenses 
which are not all these things are like are there. Okay. So when you are creating the GL account, so it is not necessary that you have to determine whether asset or liabilities. Okay. First important thing we have to determine is whether it is a profit and loss account or balance sheet. If it is a if it is a profit and loss account, under profit and loss account we can have a different group. Basically, basically very important two groups, whether it is a income or expenses. But we can have more groups also. More than these two groups also. We can okay. have more and more groups, whether it is income or expenses, we can Similarly, if it is a balance sheet, so definitely first thing we have to consider whether assets or liabilities. But still if you want to segregate more in detail, if you want to segregate the GL account more in detail, we can, we can segregate whether it's a fixed asset or current asset or fixed liability or current asset. Okay. So but segregating to GL account, profit and loss or balance sheet are very very So in this example, okay, cash is your asset. Salary, mobile, these right. two will come under your profit right. and loss account. Okay. Bank is considered again your okay. Okay. So very important that okay, here we are doing manually but in the SAP system. We need not to worry of journal all these things. We have to segregate the GL account properly first. Whether it is a profit and loss account or balance sheet, if it is a profit and loss account, it's based upon the number of crores. I have given you two examples. Okay, we may have more and more groups. I'll give you some example. I'll show you one. Also, Kashi, uh, why is trading account not uh, will not be configured in the SAP? Because it is considered more into your profit and uh, your product cost. Okay. While you see the motto of your trading account in SAP, uh, in general is to find out okay all the transactions where we calculate while calculating the product cost. Okay. So while doing the product costing base, but in general, even I have seen many of the people that do not use a trading account, all the transaction is included in your profit and loss account itself. Okay. Okay, so PNL account they consider all trading transaction. In accounting we have this process but uh, in uh, SAP we do not have an option where we put the trading account. Okay. I'll uh, what about the CEO then? In our, uh, in, hello? Yes, yes. Okay, in CO, do we consider a separate trading account or how it is like? No, no, we do not have separate trading account CO also. There is a separate okay. approach in the product costing to do that. Okay. So, I am just taking one of the business blueprint from my previous company. So, if you see, we have so many account groups, almost 33. Okay. Like fixed asset one group, accumulated depreciation, working capital, investment. Okay, these all are your assets. Okay. Then loans and advance savings, all are this your liability. So don't they mention uh, depending on the uh, the number number range we have to decide whether it's in uh, asset or liability yeah. or anything. no yes I, I will tell you that when we go to the SAP I'll explain you I'm okay. just giving one example okay. of how it will okay? okay so we have to determine as you said absolutely correct that based upon the GL account it will be determined how why that will look when you go to the SAP system. I'm okay. just giving an overview okay. idea how 
asset, a profit and loss account and a balance sheet can be segregated into different groups. All this related to profit and loss account or balance sheet. Okay. okay. So, but still based upon the requirement we can segregate. Yeah, I'll give you okay. one more example. Okay. Here if you see, they have simple, this was like very simple implementation, say capital and reserves and surplus. So definitely it is your liability. Secured loans, unsecured loan, liability. Mm -hmm. Fixed asset, asset, investment, current asset, okay. loans and advances, asset, okay. current liability. So it is a very simple uh, segregation of your GL account to your profit and loss account balance sheet again into different groups. If you see this one, this one is more complicated. So it depends upon the client business process, how they operate, how they work. Okay, then we have to decide whether it, it will be if they want a simpler one, they want a complicated one. But it is very important that we first determine that GL account is personal loss account or, or it is balance sheet. Because while creating the GL account, once we have to determine. Once we determine throughout the life of your implementation, it will be the same. Okay. You cannot change it. If you want to change it, you have to reverse it, you have to make it zero, then it will not be a process. And which is not advisable. Okay. Okay. So while creating a GL account, every time system will ask whether it is a profit and loss account or balance sheet. Okay, based upon my requirement, for example, I have seen some, uh, like uh, when we will do the practicing, we will create four groups only. Let's say, one group is liabilities, one is income, one is expenses. So we will be creating four groups while we, we look into the as if practicing. Okay. So every time if I select the balance sheet, then I have to select what GL account is asset or liability. If I'm selecting the GL account, the profit and loss account, I have to segregate whether it is the income or expense. But if this is a very simple, if a customer or my client requires more complicated one, yes, I can have these many account groups. So each account group, whenever selecting, okay, first let's say this one. Fixed asset. So this is related to balance sheet. Under balance sheet, account group. Accumulated depreciation. Again, it is your liability. So under your balance sheet, liability. Capital work in progress. This is my asset. Investment. Again, asset. So balance sheet, asset. Uh, Similarly, we have to. Kashi, yes. So each account group is unique for a. Uh, is it so? Is every yes. each account yes each account group is unique with unique number interval. Okay. That means whenever I'm creating any fixed account, it can be created in this particular interval only. Mm -hmm. Any GL account when I'm creating okay under fixed asset, I cannot create other than this group. Similarly, whenever I'm creating related to accumulated depreciation, I have to create in this particular case. Okay. But as a manually, we have to tell the system. Yeah. This particular GL account is fixed asset or accumulated depreciation or what? System will not determine automatically. System will do the validation only that whether whenever I'm creating a GL account for fixed asset, the number of the GL account is in this interval or not. Mm -hmm. For example, I gave a wrong account. Let's say salary account, I'm creating under fixed asset, I have given one zero 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 one. System will accept it. System will not check whether it is a system cannot check whether it is a PL or balance sheet. System will check only whether it is under correct group and the interval is given correctly or not. Okay. Okay. 
So while entering normally a GL account, any kind of master data, we do not create manually. What we do, we do a LSMW or the LSMW yes. for your legacy legacy system migration okay. model. Okay. Or batch data conversion. So at that time there will be a template. I'll I'll give you a couple of templates. Okay. So based upon that template, it will be system will determine whether it is your okay. I'll show you later. Okay. As of now I have to okay. number. Okay, I'll show you. Then I'll show you a format how it will look like. Okay, so based upon that, we we determine whether this GL account is uh, whether related to your uh, asset or balance sheet. Then we give it to your technical your data uploadation team. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. The data uploadation team. Yeah. They will. Let's say. This is related to one like house bank. Okay, creation of your house bank. So they want only the template of company code, house bank, country key, bank key. So this is like one of the format they want. But I have more format. Yeah, this is let's say payment terms. Your discount. All this topic we will do. Okay, not to worry. So I'm just so we will give a format. This format it will be this is your record. System says whether how many transactions is updated properly or not. Okay. So LSMW BDC, okay, using that we we determine in the Excel by creating the Excel itself, I will tell, okay, this particular GL account comes under fixed asset number. Then the technical people, they run LSMW or they run BDC, they will upload using that particular program and system will create. Mm -hmm. But as of now, while well, we are practicing, we will create manually, okay, we will create manually whenever it's going to the each topic, so that we can know what are the fields is required, because when I'm creating GL account, there are a lot many fields are required. So based upon the nature of the GL account, based upon the requirement of the customer, based upon the posting, we have to determine what are the fields has to be, what are the fields has to be updated, what are the fields has to be left blank, which are the fields are mandatory, which are optional, which are suppressed, that we have to determine by creating the GL account and creating that. Okay. okay. So my balance sheet is done. So always remember your total balance of asset, total balance of liability must be same. If there is any deviation, again there will be some problem in your balance sheet. This is mandatory that asset equal to your liability. This is his point that asset equal to your liability. liability. Always asset must be equal to liability. If there is any change that means some posting somewhere is your okay. okay. Any questions? Anything? No, not as of now. It will be more clear when we actually, you know, Follow this in SAP. Yeah. Yes. Or convert but, it into SAP yeah. thing. Correct. Shilpa, because you have worked on accounts, it will be easier for you. But for Vanessa, I'll request him to oh, go through the book which she has purchased about at least a couple of times. Take one example. Yeah. Start, start from the journal, do till your balance sheet. Okay. okay. At least one or two example you do it. Then it will be very easy when you go into more. Yeah, I've been doing it. So I, I, I will do even yeah. more. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, Joe. That is that is going to because Shilpa has a account background, so okay. she will she for her it is easier for you. Okay. To practice more and more the basics of uh, accounting. So, okay. Now well, I will do one more recap. Okay. So how okay. the accounting flows? What are the important things to remember now from SAP perspective? Okay. okay. From an SAP perspective, the first thing when I'm creating the GL account, I have to find out whether it is a profit and loss account or balance sheet. That is the first thing when I'm working on the GL account, I have to determine whether it is a profit and loss account or balance sheet. Okay, if it is a profit and loss account, whether it belongs to which account group, whether income account group, expense account group. If you have a more number of groups, under income also I can have different groups. I have to determine the correct group. Similarly, when I am creating a GL account and balance sheet, the first thing is we need to find out whether it is a asset or liability. First is PNL or balance sheet, then it is asset or liability. And I have to create in their respective while creating itself, if you've done any mistakes, so definitely your postings will be in balance. So it is very important that when creating the GL account, we determine the kind of GL account belongs to. Second thing is always to find out after creating the GL account whether it is falls under the program. falls under real, nominal or personal. Whether the real account for which the business transaction is taken place, whether real, nominal or then to determine whether it is a debit, whether it is or okay. Now one more important thing it comes when your sales or sales process or your credit sales process or credit purchase process which is very important okay whenever I'm doing a credit sales okay so my cash is not coming in let's say Mr. X I sold a goods so transaction will be Mr. X account debited to Credit or my goods. When this is payment happens, okay, cash or bank account is debited to Mr. X. So here, first Mr. X got a debit, then Mr. X got a credit. That means that GL account, that particular personal account is knocked off. Balance is zero. That means I need not receive any money from the Mr. X because he's already made the payment. But credit sales and cash is cashy. Uh, Yes, please. Um, uh, so the Mr. Uh, X has got debited credit card, so it is all right. Mm -hmm. But later the credit sales account Correct. and the cash uh, account. So the other Correct. transactions, uh, when we make a journal entry, uh, they mm -hmm. have to be balanced finally, isn't it? So no. there will be other transactions. Please. Yeah. No, it will not. Credit and sales account, if it is a credit as I gave, that means the good has gone out. Okay, so mm -hmm. it will be the same account. Okay. There will be knocking off entry for this credit sale or cash account because my goods has gone out. It will not come back again to me. Correct? Okay. Yes. Okay. I have received the cash. I am not going to return it back. Why okay. only the Mr. X account is debit added or credited? Because credit. First, I gave him a, I gave him the goods without taking the money. When he gave the money, I credited. Yeah. So the account is settled. Mr. X account is settled. 
Okay, so the knocking. In the case of yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, go yeah. ahead, uh, Kashi. Okay. In the case of credit sales and the cash, it will not happen. Okay. There so should be a debit balance or credit balance in the credit sale or cash account. Some some other transaction. Hello. Hello. Yes, Vanessa. So in the credit sales account, there will be some another transaction that will balance this amount, or or it will be it will remain open, right? If there is no other credit sale, no. the balance will be brought the, uh, forward then. Yeah, yes, forward. Correct. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Balance will be forward, so there will not be any knocking of entry for credit sale or cash account for this particular transaction. Yeah, so it be brought down and finally in a trial balance it would match out. So correct. Okay. Absolutely okay. correct, Vanessa. Okay. okay. Now here when I'm doing a debit or credit, okay, there is another account on the background, it will be debited. Whenever I post any entry to customer, your account receivable account will get updated in the case of customer. Now why? Why account receivable is updated? Okay. Mr. X account cannot be represented in your assets. Why? I have thousands of customers. Let's say I have given all of them credit sale. If credit sale, that is the asset. Correct? Credit sale means it's the asset for me because I have already delivered him the goods. He has to give me the money. Hmm. Hello? Yes, yes. Correct? So I have already delivered him the goods. I have to receive the money now. Now, Whenever I post anything to a customer, your account receivable will be updated. Mr. X GL account, the Mr. X account will not be represented, will not be updated in your balance sheet in the asset side. Okay. That okay. Means all credit sale, all custom, all the customer accounts from whom I need to receive money. It will be represented by one J account that is account receivable. Okay. So whenever you post any entry to a customer, okay, the customer will be linked to a account receivable. Okay. If a customer gets a debit, account receivable will get a debit. If a customer gets a credit, account receivable will get a credit. By doing this, my account receivable is updated with all my credit sales and the payment. So account receivable as a mirror account or? Yes. Oh. It's, it's, okay. It is called your reconciliation account. Okay. Okay. Recon account. We okay. cannot directly post to a recon account. Recon account will be always associated with, with another account. In this case, account receivable will be attached are linked to your Mr. X account. So when I'm creating a customer in SAP, there is a field we have to give account receivable GL account. Okay. So whatever the transaction you do, okay, the account okay. receivable will be updated. Now at the end of the year, let's say throughout the year I have done thousand postings with okay. 500 customer okay okay and let's say okay only let's say 800 transaction are cleared okay that means 800 credit sales were cleared payment received for 200 credit transaction sales. is not done Let's say out of which what that is related to 150 customers paid, 50 customers has not paid me. Okay. 
So all these 50 customer names, I cannot write it in my balance sheet. Okay. That, because this is asset for me. I have already delivered the codes. From them, uh -huh. I need to give. So I have given okay. the credit. That is the asset. So I cannot uh -huh. write their name. So all yeah. those 50 customers will be represented by one GL account that is account receivable. Okay. So the total amount will be grouped under it. Absolutely correct. So account receivable, okay, we'll have all all the transactions related to your customers, whether you are debit, whether you are credit. If debit is more, that means that is a asset. If credit is more, that mm -hmm. means I have taken more mm -hmm. advance. Mm -hmm. That is a liability again. If my credit is more, it is a liability. Why it is liability? Because I have taken the advance and I have to deliver them the goods. Yes. True. Okay. Okay. So always remember, recon account we cannot post directly. Recon account will be associated to a another main ledger. This is called sub ledger. This is called main ledger. Recon sub ledger. And Whatever the transaction you do to a main ledger, your sub ledger will be. So main ledger will be accounts receivable. Yes. Okay. Similarly, your credit purchase process. The vendor account. Where it is your vendor account. So when I do a credit purchase, the transaction will be. Credit purchase account to Mr. X or to vendor account. Mr. Lesser, yeah, Mr. Y. Okay. Okay. When the actual payment happens, okay, Mr. Y Pay account them. is debited to cash. Cash account. Cash yeah. account. On the background, whatever the transition we do. It will be updated to your accounts. Okay. Similarly, accounts payable. If accounts payable, your accounts payable uh, credit is more. That means that is liability. I have to make a payment. Okay. So that is your liability. Accounts payable debit is more. That means I have given the advances for the purchases. So purchases which I make in the, the expenses, the purchases expense which I make in the future, I made it earlier. So that will be your. Uh, so uh, Kashi, the Mr. Y that is debit, uh, the, the Mr. Y account and cash account will be the ones that will be in my uh, general ledger as yes. postings. And accounts payable and receivables will be in my uh, balance sheet. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So accounts payable is a liability, account receivable is your because accounts payable is something I need to pay. Account receivable something I need to pay. Okay. Okay. So this is very, very important transition because complete your FI MM integration is based upon this. FI SD integration is based. Okay. 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 Any questions? Anything? No, nothing has happened. Okay. Then we'll keep it up to here. And uh, when I say you practice three, you you do a recap of everything. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to start the SAP thing. Okay, we will, okay, we will start with the uh, uh, basics uh, of uh, SAP, uh, what is SAP, uh, overview of FI and CO, if time permits, we will start okay. with the enterprise structure. Okay, fine, sure. Okay, so tomorrow okay. we will meet uh, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Yeah, okay. yeah, 7 a.m. Also, okay. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, Kashi, if we get some uh, document that or something that we, we can prepare and come for the class, that will be 
really yeah. good I think sorry. Sorry, when I didn't have here. Okay. If there is some document or some uh, some kind of data that we can get prepared for before the class. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. No, tomorrow or uh, tomorrow is it's just an overview. But yes, yeah, for the future, uh, I'll send you the step by step. Okay. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, fine. Hello. Future, I'll send you earlier only. So probably tomorrow, I'll send you all the step by step notes and the document which is which is required to study. So as of now, I'll give you only a couple of documents. Okay. okay. Even though you guys are into SAP, I'm considering you both of you as a new to SAP. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll start. I don't want to give you lot many documents to get confused. I have huge documents. Still you say, Karshi, I don't want documents. <laughs> I don't want to give you and get confused. Okay. Initially, I'll give you only three documents. Concentrate on those three. After around 10 sessions, Mm -hmm. Then I'll give you a couple of business blueprints. Then mm -hmm. more books. Okay. One okay. thing always remember, uh, Silpa and Vanessa, SAP is not all about how or what. SAP is all about why. Okay. Always you have to ask yourself why I'm doing this. Okay. In the interview, for example, lots of people like who join they apply for a job. Yeah. Always when they go for the interview they will ask why 70 percent of the question is on why why you are doing this mm -hmm. so our motto mm -hmm. to give importance to to understand more and why okay, okay. and sap is the ocean sap is the ocean if someone says like recently like in the more demo one student like uh, he was very aggressive he said, okay, Kashi, I want to learn everything. <laughs> okay. So, how much time will it take? I said, three years. <laughs> what? He said, yes, I can teach you for three years. I know so much of SAP after working nearly for seven to eight years. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. So, I'll try to concentrate topics which, which is going to help you, which make your foundation strong and few of the advanced topics. Okay. Which is going okay. to help you in your but still, okay. additional topic if you want anything you let me know because sometimes like both of you are working you want a specific topic yes if I have work or if I have knowledge definitely I will love to share. Okay, okay. fine. I'll, I'll give I'll tell you one story I've been to a one SAP uh, one of the SAP conference and I met with one guy who who work with uh, William Luther and that team. Okay. Mm -hmm. He is having nearly 35, 36 years of experience in SAP. Okay. Okay. A very <laughs> nice guy. Uh, he's Australian. Uh -huh. uh, in the, during the lunch time, we oh, were sharing something. Okay. So, I just, uh, out of curiosity, I just asked. Okay, after working so many years, how much you know about SAP? And he said, without thinking a second, I know 0 0.0005 percent of that. <laughs> okay. After working for nearly 35, 36 years. Okay. So, motto always to understand. See, when you go to a work to verify, uh, you may come up with a different, different thing. This okay. thing will make your foundation strong, make you understand a new topic. Okay. okay. So, and another thing, in my session, I do not have any silly questions. If you do not understand it, one thing, please tell me so that I can give you more examples. Even you ask me one plus one, what is? Yes, I love to explain. But do not keep any doubt because all topics are SAP are related. If you did not understand one small concept, initial state, it may be very difficult for you to understand a bigger concept in the future. So always feel free. Do not hesitate. I'll try to give. If you are not able to understand, it's absolutely fine. I'll try to give more examples which will help you to understand more. Okay, fine. Okay. 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 Fine then. okay. Yeah. Have a great Sunday and see you tomorrow, 7 a.m. Yeah. Yes. Wish you the same. Bye. Yes. See you, uh, Sri and uh, <laughs> Kashi. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bye. Kash, uh, Kashi, I just had a small doubt for you. Yes. Uh, my, it's again a stupid one, but then because I'm not very new to Absolutely. accounts. Absolutely. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Nothing is good. <laughs> yeah, I was just going through all the uh, the gender ledger and everything, and then I saw that say for example, uh, there's some uh, money that is getting received because of sales of a furniture. So for the company, the cash account is getting uh, debited as the uh, cash is coming in. Hmm. So you always okay. write saying that um, cash uh, cash hmm. account debit. DR uh -huh. and below that you write uh -huh. two sales say sales account or furniture account. Uh -huh. So why why is it two especially? Because two, two means credit. You consider it is credit. Okay, okay. Well, like is no. there some specific reason or some uh, little meaning for that of why it is two? Uh, no. See whenever you write the transaction with two means it is considered the second line is considered as credit. credit. Okay. Similarly, there is no yeah debit. It is yeah, buy this, buy this one cash or something. Uh, no, see buy when we write, write it in a general ledger. Uh. Buy is credit. Okay, on the credit side, yeah. Yes, two is your debit. <laughs> so, Vice versa. <laughs> so why is that specific terminology? Because on journal and general ledger also. Okay, see. When I'm writing a mm -hmm. cash account, okay, mm -hmm. I'm debiting the cash account. Yes. Okay. Now when I'm writing in the general ledger, mm -hmm. okay. So what if I write in the cash account the debit side, okay, or this particular transaction, let's say it's cash debit. account is debited. Yes. By what? Okay. So it is debited by furniture. So buy, so okay. you'll be writing two furniture, isn't it, on the debit side? Yes. <laughs> should two <be> buy. furniture. <laughs> no, it will be two furniture. <laughs> okay. Why it is got debited? Because of furniture. Two furniture, okay. <laughs> okay, so okay. whenever I'm, that's the thing, like whenever general ledger, we write it, I absolutely, like why you are getting confused, I absolutely know because <laughs> when we studied in my interpreter, we have the same doubt. <laughs> okay, that sounds Always reasonable. Like, <laughs> yes, when we learn for the first time in the account, general ledger, we think why it should be, it should be by furniture. <laughs> yeah, but, okay. But there is no specific logic, it is, it is just in the cash account, okay, and the, the cash account, it yes, has to be different. So ah, in the cash okay. account, I cannot write cash. Yes, hmm. yes, of course. If I write cash, it doesn't make any meaning. Correct. So okay. when I look in the general ledger, I should understand why it is debited because the furniture. So we write two furniture. Okay, okay. In the furniture account, if I write buy furniture, it doesn't give you any understanding. Mm -hmm. So okay. I'll write buy cash. Right. So okay. cash is always debit. Two we consider as a credit. There is no logic. So initially, I think someone has started writing that people started following. <laughs> there is no okay. fundamental logic for that. Okay, okay, no worries. Uh, I'll, I'll at least I remember after you know <laughs> yes, yes. discussing. I, I absolutely agree with you. This is this is not a stupid question. When we <laughs> learned in like around like 15 years back when you learned accounting. Okay. We had the same question. We, we used to we used to get confused at all and all the time. Okay, the cash account it should be by it should be two cash. Then yeah, if you write it two cash, and the cash account it doesn't make any sense. That okay for what purpose I'm debiting? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Kashi. Uh, not, no okay. other doubts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.